came in today to um, pick up the gear and move it to a new place, give this valley a rest for a while. Anyway, the first one we've come across is the Reconix camera. And as you can see, the pigeon's gone. So we'll just have a look inside this camera. She's still 99% full in battery life and 78 photos. So I'll take the card home, we'll take the camera and move it to a new area. Catch ya. On our way through picking up the gear today, we just come across a area that a fellow researcher um, pointed out that at 1 minute 42 seconds in the first video, he thinks there could be a yowie ducking behind the tree. We're down this direction. Anyway, today we'll do some comparisons and we'll put in a separate video. There's the car reflecting in the distance. So not far left now. 135 meters. Here's the pot watcher, and it's set facing up this dry riverbed. Anything that crosses there or comes down for a drink, hopefully, we should catch it. We get a long view from here. I've just come across this scat. This is in the new area. Anyway, I've never seen one of these. It's quite large. I'm not sure. It's a funny shape. Anyway, this me here for comparison. And there's a knife I'll bring with me. Anyway, I'll put it in a plastic bag. I'll take it home. I'll talk to Rusty, and if he wants to have a look at it, I'll send it to him. If not, I'll throw it in the garden. Conics camera set on this tree and it's facing that way. We're in the new area uh, which I'm calling the Valley of the Kangaroos and under that log there is the recorder so it's sort of right in front of the Reconix camera. Anyway, it's a nice bit of bushy, a little bit hidden away. Here we are at the new area, which I call the Valley of the Kangaroos. Uh, that's all national park on that side of this grazing land. Anyway, it's usually full of kangaroos. There's none in here today that I can see, and I can't see the cows either. Anyway, that's a national park on that side, and it's surrounded. It's all national park. And I've set the gear on this side, which is all national park. And I'm about 100 metres in there. Where the gear was before was about 
two or three kilometres over that hill and into the next valley. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, we didn't catch what took the pigeon, as we put the pigeon too close to the camera, just out of range. So whatever took it came in from behind the camera very low, not to set the camera off. We had a variety of animals, from wallabies, kangaroos and possums, sniffing around where the pigeon was placed. So whatever took the pigeon was very sneaky about it. But hey, it's all trial and error. And we've learned from our mistakes. And it won't happen again. Considering there was rain and wind interference over a couple of days, there is still quite a lot of activity in that area, judging by the recorder. Now we've got the scat. We would like to thank fellow researcher Rusty for using his expertise examining and breaking down the scat we found. Unfortunately there was nothing discovered but it was worth a look. He still wasn't sure what animal it came from but he said perhaps it came from a massive pig. Who knows? Well, we're looking forward to going back out to the new area and checking out our gear. It looks promising. So our fingers are crossed. Until next time, thanks for watching.